In this lesson, we are looking at infectious and non-infectious diseases. And here is our one single dot point. We're in chapter seven of Pearson. This is topic two, unit two. All right, a disease is any kind of condition which impairs the normal functioning of an organism. So we're talking abnormalities or dysfunction. There are a number of ways to classify disease. We can talk about them being acquired throughout the lifetime or hereditary, so passed down from a family member, or they can be infectious, non-infectious, but we'll talk about so many different classifications. Some words we need to get straight first. So number one, let's talk about communicable, which also means contagious, right? It is spread between organisms. If a disease is infectious, however, it is caused by a pathogenic molecule or organism. So we sometimes use these interchangeably and that's not the case. So contagious diseases are infectious, but not all infectious diseases are contagious, which is a bit tricky to get your head around. Now contagious and infectious, we're talking about this one here to start with, you're talking cold, STIs, pneumonia, um, hepatitis, Ebola, whatever. They will transfer between organisms and they are caused by a pathogenic organism. If we talk about non-contagious but infectious, we're talking about something that is still caused by a pathogen like bacteria or like a virus, but you're not going to catch it from one another. So you might get tetanus, uh, you might get it from the environment. Um, right, non-infectious and non-contagious makes a bit of sense there. We're talking genetic disorders, uh, nutritional deficiencies, things like that. Okay, we can classify things as non-infectious and infectious, and that's where we're focusing today. So non-infectious diseases are non-contagious and they are not caused by pathogenic organisms or molecules. Genetic things, nutritional things, environmental things, that's what we're going to be talking about, versus infectious diseases, which are indeed, most of them are contagious, uh, and they are all caused by pathogenic molecules or organisms. I'm saying molecules because that's what a virus is. Now, these infectious agents can be viral, bacterial, fungal, protozoan, and prions or prions. We're going to talk about them later in the unit. Let's start with hereditary diseases or disorders. Uh, they are present at birth. They are caused by inheriting certain genetic material from one or both of your parents. And you generally just treat the symptoms. If that's in your DNA, you can't really change it. There are some stem cell therapies and gene therapies being looked at, but generally once you've got it, you're stuck with it. Some examples include sickle cell anemia, Down syndrome, hemophilia, or cystic fibrosis, which is a disorder in the lungs and other tissues. All right, nutritional deficiencies are deficiencies of various vitamins, minerals, or other nutrients from the, your, your diet, basically. Um, some can be caused by uh, enzyme issues, which mean that you cannot make something in your body. And the treatment is to basically add the missing nutrient. Um, although once damage is done, the deficiency can often be, uh, or the damage can sometimes be irreversible. So if we talk about quashia core, which is a protein deficiency, rickets, which is a vitamin D deficiency, anemia, which is caused by iron deficiency, or scurvy, which is a vitamin C deficiency, which we talk about with pirates and their gums bleed. It's super gross. Eating disorders are considered non-infectious and they are quite complex and some of the causes are generally unknown. Uh, these are anorexia nervosa and bulimia, but we also consider obesity and eating disorder. Treatment programs exist, but with variable successes, unfortunately. Environmental diseases are caused by factors in a person's environment. So we're talking mesothelioma, which is what happens when you inhale uh, asbestos fibers, so really tiny particles that get stuck in your lungs. And also asthma can be triggered by exposure to airborne particles. In a lifestyle disease, though, uh, it's a little bit different because it's about the choices that someone has made. So we're talking about heart disease here and type 2 diabetes and poor diet, lack of exercise, those kinds of things, smoking. Uh, Biozone is really interesting because it notes that there are these are diseases of affluence as opposed to, say, diseases of poverty. So because we have the ability to um, include these things in our life because we are quite well off, then we get things like heart disease. All right, mental illness, um, you know, many kinds of varieties of mental illness with a variety of symptoms. Obviously, there's some risk factors like trauma, social isolation, chemical imbalances in the brain, uh, drug use, those kinds of things, but still a lot where the um, cause is unknown. So some of these are treatable with medication and cognitive therapies. Some may not be. Cancerous changes are basically tumors, you know, other kinds of uh, cancers that they form when cells multiply in an uncontrolled manner. That's basically what a cancer is. Now, many tumors have complex or unknown causes, but some we have causes that we are aware of. For example, UV exposure can lead to skin cancers, and we know that smoking can lead to lung cancer changes. Now, treatments can include surgery, um, or you can remove the tumor, you can have chemotherapy, you can have radiation therapy. We're just going to pause at this one because then we are going to move on to the infectious diseases.